my name is Tim Gerhardt. I'm from Labstrong. Today we're going to learn how to clean the Firestream 2S still. First thing you want to do is shut off the heating, heating elements, which is the green heater switch. Then you want to shut off the incoming power to the cell light valve so no more water comes in. Once you've done that, you can actually leave the system connected up to the inlet water and to your drain because you're going to need that. You want to disconnect your tank because you don't want this going to the tank at all. So once that's disconnected, now you can open up your drain valve here. That will allow the water to come out of the boiler and go out directly to drain. Once your boiler is, is emptied, you can go ahead and shut that because we want to put our cleaning solution inside the boiler through our funnel that we have that we get with the unit. So you want to make sure this is closed. We're going to go ahead and remove our cover. And the, each unit, each five stream still will come with a funnel and the funnel is placed in the constant level device, the vent tube of the constant level device. Just put that down inside of there so that's going to go into the boiler. And again, you know, that's why you want to make sure that your drain valve is closed. Now that you have, we have the cleaning solution mixed, which is 100 ml of water and 100 ml of hydrochloric acid. This is the water in here first and then the acid to the water. And then now we're going to go on it with your protective wear eyewear on and your protective gloves. We're going to pour it into the funnel. The funnel is our cleaning funnel right here into the vent port of our constant level device, which is eventually going to end up in the boiler, which is why you want the drain valve closed off. We're just simply going to start pouring that into here very slowly. It just takes a little bit of time to fill up the funnel. Now that we have the 200 ml of mixed hydrochloric acid and distilled water poured into the boiler section, we can go ahead and energize our solenoid valve, which is going to bring water into the boiler, fill up till we get to the constant level device to this spot right here. Once it's to here, it's going to overflow. And then at that point, you want to shut this off because you don't want any water in that solution flowing over. You want to leave it into the boiler. Then you want to leave that sit for about 30 minutes and open up the drain valve on the side. Now that we've gone through our cleaning procedure, we've actually drained all the solution out down to atmospheric drain. We shut this off, so now we, we can refill the boiler. What we want to do is not connect this up to our tank. We run around about four or five liters to drain. But before we actually start the unit, we want to make sure that we reattach the door. Because you always want to put the door on the unit when you're, operation, when you're running the unit in operation. So when the system's operating, you always want to keep the door on it. We're just going to hit the power button to bring our water in. We're going to bring it up to our constant level device and overflow. Once it hits that point, we're going to go ahead and turn the heaters on so we can start distilling water. Then you want to run this to drain. After about four or five liters to drain, you want to go ahead and connect this back up to your tank. But at first, you want to shut this all off so you stop water coming through here and let this cool down for a little bit because it's going to be pretty hot. Then you want to reconnect it up to your tank after you've run that four or five liters to drain. Put the power on. When water gets up to the right level on the constant level device, you hit your heater button, turn the heaters on, then your water is going to start filling your tank back up again. And that's how you clean the Fivestream 2S still. Thanks for watching. At LabStrong, we are committed to making your lab life easier. For additional assistance, please contact the experts at LabStrong.